Okay, this is composite photo, how to make a composite photo number one. You need to open up your photo editor and import all of the photos you're going to use. I'm, I imported two, a floppy disk, and a clock. Okay, and I'm going to put the clock on top of the floppy disk. Okay, composite photo number two. I have my two photos. Okay, I need to resize them so they're the same size. This clock is way bigger than the floppy disk, so I need to resize it. Image, resize. I happen to know that this needs to be reduced about 25%. Okay, so that's the resizing. This is number two. Okay, once I have my images sized right, I'm going to copy this image and put it on this one. Okay, but I don't want the white in the background to appear, so I need to make this one transparent. Okay, to do that, I'm going to go to my palette up here. Okay, you see I have a foreground color and a background color. I'm going to make the background color some color other than white because I don't want the white to also be transparent. Okay. So I'm going to choose yellow, just because that's what I use. And I'm going to go to my flood tool over here, choose my flood tool. And then I'm going to color in the white background just by clicking on it. Okay, Fills up that whole thing. That's why it's called a fill tool. Then to make sure that the yellow now is the background color, I come back over here to my palette. And I'm going to switch these using this little thing. They all do it the same way. Okay, So now that I have a transparent background. This is number three. Okay, step four is to actually copy and paste this into the other one. So I'm going to copy the clock with its transparent yellow background and paste it onto the floppy disk. Okay, so copy, I go to edit and copy it. Then I go and open up the save and I'm going to paste it as a transparent selection. Okay, I move it over there and I see that it fits very nicely and I don't have the white square behind it. Okay, and I place that there. Okay, so now I have it composited. That's step number four. Okay, step number five, I'm going to add a text to this composite photo that says what I think it is. This is saving time. So to do that, I choose the text tool over here, which is always a T. I have my font. I'm going to go ahead and go with Arial, 20, size 24. You may have to play around with it a little bit. Now, over here, this says that the font color will be white, okay? And I don't want white on that, so I want some other color. So I'm going to make it red, okay? And so I come over here and just click on it. You see there's a little blinking cursor right there. And then I just type saving time. Okay. Now I'm done. I have a, three photos all together. I'm going to save this. Okay, into my desktop where I can find it. Called it saving time. Okay. And there you go. That's step five. Okay. The last step, just to make sure, what you're going to send me is all of your original ones. There's my original uh, floppy disk. There's my original clock. And there's my final photo. Okay, I have it open in the photo editor. Okay, so I still have the original two to show that this was my composite over here. And that's what you'll send me, is all three of them. If you have more photos than that, than two, then you would send me all of those. Okay. Okay, I'm going to use this photo here to demonstrate um, one other skill, okay, and that's um, selection and cropping. Now, you may find that 
um, using a whole picture in your composite won't work. Okay, and you may have to just cut stuff out. So you have two ways of selecting that. One is uh, the selection tool itself, which is always some sort of a square thing. You can see there's the square like that. Okay, and I can copy that paste it as a new image okay it's a little smaller now that may not be what I want so I also have a freehand selection which gives me I can kind of trace around it like this and so that's the part I can actually cut that out of there I'm gonna do cut so you can see where it's at okay I can go back to my original image and I can paste that as a transparent selection. And so what I end up having here is two stacks of coins. Okay, that's how you can use the selection tools. The lasso or the freehand and the selection area.